Kia ora. welcome to Cultural Creations Waste Nothing Crafts. My name is Ribiga, or Ribiga in Te Reo Māori, which is my language. So uh, today I'm doing my second first time for anything video. And um, what they are is just a series of videos of me trying uh, different things that I've seen on YouTube and uh, doing a video of how they turn out. <clears throat> I've um, had a practice with, um, sorry I really need to get rid of the arms, so I'm just really nervous, I don't, I'm not really keen on doing videos but it seems to be a good, good way to go. So anyway, um, <clears throat> this this video, oh, well, yeah, get back to it. This video is on making flowers from cloth, and uh, the reason I needed to do that, ne I'm learning to do this or practice doing this, is I have, am currently doing um, my first ever exploding canvas and I'm sorry I haven't done any of that on video but I needed, I wanted a flower, I wanted a, a large centerpiece to go on on one of the, on, on one of the sides and thought I'd, I saw some videos of these really beautiful flower displays, these flowers done up and I thought yeah I'd love one of those and I went to have a look at in town to see if we could, if I could purchase one here in well, I live in New Zealand. I purchased one in, in town, and uh, the one I went to go and have a look at the shop I had a look at, it, they were about eight or nine dollars just for one flower. I mean, they were stunning. Don't get me wrong, they were stunning, professionally made, and they were stunning. But eight dollars, sort of, because of my budget, didn't uh, didn't justify me spending eight to nine dollars just on one of these flowers and so um, having a look on YouTube I did some stalking I mean you know well it's yeah, stalking because that's all I'm doing on YouTube is looking at these videos of these amazing crafty ladies and I came across this one that's really easy and doesn't need sewing and it actually is real quick so I thought, yeah, I'll give that a go. So this here is my first attempt at making um, this type of flower. Now this type of flower was uh, the video, the person that did it is known as A Little Shabby Chic, is her YouTube name. And her, the, the flowers were stunning, but because they were so easy and she was using hot glue, I'm um, useless sewer, so I thought yeah I'll give that one a go. And um, so this is my first attempt, oh, Really, I'm actually really proud of it, it's a prototype, it's the first ever, but um, I really had fun doing this flower and um, I can only get better. So I thought I'd just do one on video as well. To, it's really, it's actually for me to get used to doing videos as well and, and just getting better at doing those sorts of things and more comfortable with it. So what I what you need for this, let's get on to it, what we need for this is of course, um, I'll just put this on the side, is just some round card, so I've done that, I've, this is just a normal plain stock card and as you can see I've already, I used my little math stencil and did the circles so I wanted the bigger size to practice with but I've also done quite a lot of other circles too and they're different sizes of flowers and I want to practice with those as well. Um, <clears throat> I remember watching this video one of my favourites my favourite um, craft woman is she's known as Jennings 644 and she's from the UK and she just has amazing advice and she's just really great and I love her personality and the videos she does. Um, she was saying just try it, just do prototype, you know, just do prototypes, just practice and and give it a go. You know, don't just keep watching it, which is tended, what I tended to do was just watch. So this one I'm actually going to do. As I said, this is my second uh, try um, 
first time for anything video series. And my first one was, of course, the, um, doing alcohol inks. I need to stop saying um, but I'm still getting there. So I, the reason I wanted to do the alcohol inks and then this is because I'm doing the embellishments to go on to the uh, exploding canvas that I'm currently doing. And this exploding canvas is called Tafiri Matia, uh, who is uh, in our culture the god of wind. And so this is the centerpiece that I wanted to do. So I've cut out the biggest, and it's just because I've got such manly hands, you know, um, chunky hands. Um, the biggest better to, to work with. So I've cut out a couple of the big circles. Uh, you only need one of these because this is the actual backing on the flower. So that's what we have. Um, I've got my hot glue gun on and it's heating. Uh, and I've got strips of material. Now I'm a very lucky girl in that I have a sister who works in, in clothing. She works at, she's a sewing machinist. Uh, she's a manager, supervisor there where she works. And she's able to get me, I told you I was getting into crafts, so she was able to get me some script material. So I, you know, really. I'm really appreciative of all that. So that's all this is. This is scrap, scrap material. Now, um, you can see it, it's frayed and that, that's fine. It's satin and the fraying is fine. Uh, the video I was watching of Shabby Chic from uh, A Little Shabby Chic, her ones are frayed and that's, and that's all part of the Shabby Chic look, she's saying. So anyway, I'll get this strip of material. Take my circle, put that out of the way. So the first thing to do is to prep your material. And because it's quite white, I'll put it on my board, my cutting board. Homemade cutting board. What you have to do is, in the video, well, you know, I'm going to um, add the link of how to make them anyway, but... This is me, so I had a lot of fun doing that, so here we go. So I thought I'd better um, do one video, do a video. So, running out of glue for this one, so here we go. So all we're doing is, of course, excuse me because it's a bit... If I turn it that way, that might be better. No, it doesn't matter. Can iron it if you want, but... No, just a waste of time really. So just work with what you have. It's okay at this stage because it's just your first prototype. So it's just a practice one. And you just practice to get better. Try to just do a little at a time rather than... That's what she said, so that's what I'm going to do. So then I fold it over as part of the... Let's do a bit more. <clears throat> I should mention the date. It's actually November the 28th, 2014, if you believe that. I was um, watching some videos and I realised that you know, there's quite a few things that you should, that people do just to sort of keep uh, a track of the videos they're doing. And one of them is telling you the date of when they've prepared them and then I realised it's a good thing to do that so so it's actually November the 28th almost Christmas and that's the other thing about learning to make these is that I'm actually going to be able to make some for Christmas gifts as well so I, as I said I'm a first time crafter waste nothing crafts so none of this will be wasted, even these practice ones. I will find a, either a project to use them on or a gift. Now there is a this these are this is Chevy's shake and 
there is a method of how to unfray or is fix the fraying of the material if it's apparently if it's set in so that's this one so I will show you how to do that and um, I had a bit of a practice before I turned the video on and yeah I'm not very good at that either I'm, I find it funny because when they do videos they make it look so so easy I've been stuffed up the folding of this one but that's okay live and learn live and learn practice this one's going to have a bit of a bump in it so try not to do this so hopefully this is going to give it a bit of character we'll soon see you just don't know until you do it oh someone sent me a message Better. second hole. Oh, let's first though, do this, let's do this. Oops. Fun, 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 when you leave it away. <clears throat> it's alright, I usually listen to the music when I'm Crafting, but as I'm doing a video, I didn't think it was appropriate to put some music on in the background because I don't know anything about um, copyright sort of stuff either for these videos. So, so I thought I'd better not do that. And, listen to and so every now and then I'm going to break into uh, song and I apologize for that it's how my brain works I think that go to its happy place all right so bear with me I actually don't know how to edit a video or anything like that so, um, I don't vid edit the videos, they are as they are, mistakes and all, well actually, I like how they say there are no mistakes. So then, once you've done that, so they're all folded like that, there you go, once you've done that, then, you take it, I might bring you in a bit closer, Yes, I feel real professional saying that and try not to go out of the videos either. So all I'm doing is cutting. And these are my, these make the petals, so don't cut it all the way through. Um, apparently it does matter about the width, so that's good because I'm terrible at measuring. Try not to cut all the way through either, girly. And what you're doing... I like doing this too because I found that it made it easier to twist around the circle, twist the material around me. Alright. I'll try and get a little bit better at the gluing as well. That's just ridiculous because it's. I think if I get better at the gluing. Easier it is to mark off the cutting. See how far I've got there. Mm. It doesn't matter if you actually cut it right through because you can still use the piece up. And as you can see, I'm not being measure perfect either. So getting back to why am I doing these videos? they're not so much um, tutorials as they are encouragement I mean this is the first time I'm trying this uh, second time actually since that one that I showed you was my first time and I, it's actually really I say therapeutic really it's fun I didn't think I'd 
like doing this because it's fiddly but um and i'm not a fiddly i don't like fiddly stuff and i don't like stuff that's gonna sort of take time and it's not me so this is where i did my stuff up with the glue so i've cut that off but that's okay so that's okay don't panic don't panic okay and there we go again and again Mm, that reminds me of that movie from Shrek. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Okay. Um, moving along. I'm going to show you a little trick with this one. That, um, another piece thing, first time I'm to be doing it on video so I'm doing two things at once on this video oh there's my husband and he's looking for our dog our dog's only a puppy well a puppy he's seven months I think he's a Rottweiler spoiled very very spoiled still has no manners no ears, um, loves going um, roaming, and that usually gets him locked up because he he always goes over to the neighbours and they're not dog friendly. So the garden is immaculate, and and he tends to like going in there digging. So anyway, so this. So that's what you don't do so far all right and these are the petals so the trick so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to if you have a look at this flower you'll see that I one half is actually quite frayed so this part is really quite frayed you know quite frayed and this side is too what do you see all this if you see all the black marks on here let's see if I can get you a bit closer sorry about that um, but the black marks on here was me practicing um, trying to burn off the braid edges. So it looks a lot smoother than this side, but yeah, you can see where I'm my first time at burning things. Eh? So I'm um, so for this trick, I've just got a tea light candle. People just use the lighter, but. I tend to be myself because I'm not a smoker and I don't use, use lighters so which me like so I've got a tea light crown so I'll bring you back out a bit more I better get my um, bowl of water in case I start a fire we don't want to start a fire get me a bowl of water just on the side here I don't even notice it So, I've only seen this once on video, so bear with me. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the frayed edge of your material, yeah, and then you're just going to run it. Run, 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 run. Sorry, I tend to do that. There you go. There you go. And it, oops, yep, there we go. Amateur, amateur, just so. Try not to set your house on fire, girls, guys. Kitties, kitties, do not try this at home, kitties, without supervision. Oh, yep, there you go. Sorry, there you go. <laughs> but bit more practice, I have burnt it, but it definitely works. I mean, watching the watching them on video, they just make it so easy. Okay. Light that back up again. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's supposed to be just moving it so it doesn't. Oh, and I sort of freak out when the flames get off. 
and practice makes perfect far out so there goes my little pink bits <laughs> good thing about this though is that um, it'll be let's see if I have better luck with a lighter let's see I think it's because these things are so big but They make it so easy, but yep, bent it, bent it, bent it, bent it. <sighs> Practice makes perfect, I tell you. But that's the second trick. So <laughs> another thing to <laughs> practice, and please make sure you've got your your bowl of water on the side there, so you don't burn your house down. But that's you know you're supposed to have defrayed it. No, I'm no good at that. So. So especially, I'll show you the difference. So there's the fr a frayed one that I haven't done. And there's, so that's the um, frayed one, of course. And there's my handiwork right there. The difference. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether it's, it's frayed or not because it's, it gives it what it's called, what they call the shabby chic look. Unue. Let's go. So I've now got two pieces, two pieces of material. So first things first is you take your circle, you take your glue gun, and you start around the edge. Well, try to if your glue gun's cooperating, and you just go around the edge. I'm going to leave that there. So my husband's just gotten home from work. Okay. And just sticking that on the edges there. And apparently go right around. Don't worry people, I am, I'm going to leave the link for you to actually see a professional at work doing this, so. I think she does say just do a, uh, a bit at a time so that it doesn't, um, so it doesn't, um, what am I saying, so it doesn't, the glue doesn't go cold before you've um, put the material down. But I mean, if that happens, just reuse the. Yep, it's happened. Ta -da! Try and follow instructions, three picker. Yes, might be more precise than I am and actually pedantic because well, I won't say OC dish but you might be a bit more than I am anyway okay oh. let's practice some more and all we're doing is apparently just keep going around Button down, girl, and twist it around. Come on before the glue gets cold, and you are having to re glue. Try not to burn your fingers. You definitely tell on the first time with this. It is fun though, it is real fun, and you know what, I think, oh, no I'm not, I think I'm going to actually do some circles, and I'm going to have fun with my 11 year old, see if she's keen to have a go at it, she'll probably be better than I am. Yeah. 
Um, all right. So when that runs out, that's okay. Just grab your other one, the other half that you that I've cut, and then just carry on. So so you're just carrying on from where it finished off. No big deal. I just so love this, and it, it what's the greatest I'm a terrible sewer, so this is way easier for me. Yeah. Oh, there I go again. I get carried away with that glue. I need to stop doing that. because I'm coming around now. Yeah, it's starting to look like a flower. No, it still needs a bit of, a bit of work, but, you know, the practice, it's all in, the fun is in the practicing. There goes my husband. He's just finished a whole long day at work and he still wants to mow the lawn. Such a good man. I knew I should have done this in the mood this morning. Oh, no, no, not here. Why do I never listen to myself? Why do I never learn? So, here we go. Just cut off the last piece. Don't worry, I'm going to use that in the next one, so that's okay. Because yeah, this is waste nothing crafts. We waste nothing. It can get better if you, um, and you can just keep going. I mean, that's just, I mean, I could carry on with that and bring it around, twist it in a bit more, and, and put one more little thing on there, and then one more route, right? One more row, sorry, remember that row, and. But, um, okay, so what I'll do is, excuse me, bear with me, Sorry, I'm just, here we go, so I've got my container of buttons, buttons, if you've got brooches or pearls or cabochons or something, you can use anything as a centrepiece, it's no big deal, no biggie. I put that one that might have might that one that button. I think you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do one more one more row because that's just a little it's not quite so just one more row in there and that should should do us. So start back at where you finished. Twist, 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 and get that last piece in there, like so. And then let's you for the day. Oh, 
to launch my D1 anymore. Hmm. Let's go one more way, just to, just to finish it off. Okay, this is going to work out, but let's just get it twisted around and see. There we go. And that was us. That's the last piece. Cut this off, actually, so it'll be easier if I cut this off and then I can get around. And finish it off. Finish it off, girl. Now that's the object of this game. I made it difficult for myself. There you go. Oops. But I'm not feeling it. It's feeling a bit messy now. I think I've got a bit carried away with that. Let's have a look. Bring it down closer. So there you go. Now it's looking. More, I think, but more practice. I'm still happy with it. I'm still okay with it. Now, let's just put all the glue in there, and I think we'll oh, probably just better decide which one I'm going to put in. It's too big. Looks like a, it looks like a poached egg. Now that's too big. The things you have, the more fun it is. Let's try. Ah, that one's a bit better. Let's try. This is going to be really plain. Sorry, my mind is thinking. It's thinking. Cause, oops, what have you done to the wall on my, my husband? That didn't sound too good. There we go. Push it down. I see, that's quite a plain, plain Jane little one, isn't it? And there, oops, excuse me, oh, excuse me, I've got glue over everything, so, the thing with these is there's no mistakes, because I reckon, if you can't get the glue off, paint it, find a way to cover it, so I've got this, but it still looks a bit plain to me, so, so, I wanted to sort of give it a um, bit of a zest, excuse me while I grab my huge container of, um, of, of things. No, I don't have the right sizes here. from with the dog. I'm so sorry. Yep, he's run next door, my darling. You're going to have to go next door. 
Yep, there he goes, getting growled. Oh, believe me, the dog is very spoiled. Is it plain, plain? Now, as it is, I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to try and find something on top of it. It's, uh, to me, it's still missing something in the middle there, a centerpiece, and um, that could take me all day to figure out which one I want on there. So rather than bore you with me having to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off now. So I'll just show you my two creations that I'm very proud of. I'm going to make some more and practice because practice makes perfect. And what I'm going to say to you is give it a go. Uh, watching the videos are one thing, but trying it is awesome. And when you've done it for the first time and it comes out, you just you just feel really proud of yourself. So I would encourage you to give these a go give this a go if you find videos on YouTube and um, that you really really like try them don't um, don't hold back uh, if you're worried about not having things try out you know not having the right stuff see what else you can have um, search some more on YouTube because there's bound to be other people out there that have made things the same but you know used other things um, I've so all of this is taken as a strip of material, a strip of satin. Doesn't even have to be flash or pretty. A card, piece of card, a piece of card, a hot glue gun, and a whole stash of buttons and embellishments. I'm going to get as I get better and better. I'll start using the um, more the better embellishments but I really love this I've really enjoyed doing this um, I can just all I can say is thank you to um, a little shabby shake for your video and this easy use of making these these flowers and um, I've had a lot of fun so go out there and have some fun give it a go as it is for me now I'm signing off so matewa hey kona until until next time. So long.